Casey, seorang warga negara bagian Massachusetts, mengalami gangguan stres pasca trauma atau PTSD saat menjadi personel aktif angkatan darat dan bertugas di Irak. Probably one of the most memorable things was we got hit by rockets right before we were leaving, um, about a week or two before we left. Ia pun mencoba berbagai jenis perawatan kesehatan mental, tapi tak ada yang manjur baginya. You try talk therapy, and that doesn't work. You try cognitive behavioral therapy, you know, saying what you feel immediately when you feel it, and you know, realizing where you are and centering. You... I'm like, dude, like, this is like 2019. Uh, I believe this is 2019 at the time, and like, I've been through it all. I'm like, no, dude, I, I've, I've been trying for, for, for nine years, like, this isn't gonna work, there's no, there's no fix, there's no cure, there's, there's no way out. Saat itulah, Casey mencoba uji coba psikiatri menggunakan MDMA, obat yang mengandung psikedelik, zat yang bisa menimbulkan halusinasi dalam dosis tertentu, tapi memiliki efek menenangkan dan mengubah kognisi serta persepsi penggunanya. MDMA is not... <laughs> ecstasy or molly but that is what people are taking when they take that but that's what you get on the street and so you don't really know what's in it all of these studies are using like i tell my kids pharmaceutical grade mdma you know exactly what's in it baru dengan konseling digabung dengan psikedelik Casey bisa mulai mengatasi PTSD-nya think of it this way uh, when you have surgery for let's say appendicitis if the surgeon makes the incision to remove your appendix without any anesthetic, it hurts. Um, so in this case, the MDMA acts as an emotional anesthetic to allow the psychotherapeutic exp uh, 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 therapy to be administered without the individual experiencing excruciating uh, emotional pain. Tapi Badan Pengawas Obat dan Makanan AS FDA pada pertengahan tahun 2024 menolak penggunaan MDMA dengan alasan lemahnya data, riset yang dipertanyakan, dan risiko tinggi penggunaan obat ini, termasuk gangguan jantung, luka, dan ketagihan. We absolutely need more treatment options. And PTSD sucks. It's a lousy disorder to have. The way I see PTSD is people are haunted by something that happened to them in the past. Obat-obat lain menurut para pendukung penggunaan MDMA sekedar menekan gejala PTSD, tak mengatasi akar masalah. Ahli medis memperkirakan 3,5 hingga 5 persen dari warga Amerika Serikat mengalami gangguan stres pasca trauma. Angkanya lebih tinggi lagi untuk para veteran Perang Irak dan Afghanistan. Menurut pantauan dari Departemen Veteran Amerika Serikat, yaitu sekitar 29 persen. Dari Washington DC, saya Nova Purwadi dan tim VOA.